Warning, as this is not the complete version of our game, and you may encounter performance problems, bugs, and other issues. Throughout early access, the game will be updated on a monthly basis with optimization improvements, bug fixes, and additional features. I understand. Greetings, dear viewers. This is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and I've watched, um, I don't know, maybe about an hour or two's worth of others playing this game, and it seems like one of those games that's, uh, worth the uh worth giving a shot so we're gonna go ahead and try it out here now i need to come up with a nickname here i'm just gonna go ahead and go x from youtube because why not create now creating character all right so apparently i have to create a character here um you know we can just go with default stuff and now i just want to play so we're gonna click on the play button on an na server and i'm gonna play solo now most of the time from what i can gather most of the time at least on streams and stuff people are playing in squads or at least duos. Um, solo play doesn't seem to be something that happens all that often, or actually, it does, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and do some solo play. You seem to be at a bit of a disadvantage playing solo, though, so I'm gonna click on matchmaking for solo, unless it matches you up with a whole bunch of other solo players, in which case that would be fine. So for those who are unfamiliar with this game, uh, you basically get dropped from an airship, and then you have to survive against a bunch of other players. There is a big circle on the map, and over time that circle slowly shrinks down to a smaller and smaller play area, where everybody is forced to eventually contend with one another. But it starts off fairly slow for the most part, I think. Alright, so, whoa, my mouse sensitivity is extremely low. Can't say I like that, so, oh, not exit to lobby, settings. Okay. Um, can I open up a map here? Yeah. I'm gonna wait for this plane to pass over someplace a little bit less populated. Somewhere out here, maybe, and try and land in that little cluster of buildings. Can I put a waypoint? I can. But I can't see it quite on the map just yet. And I think we're okay to dive out. We can press F to eject. Oof, off we go. Okay, then. We can see a bunch of other players doing that thing, too. F to release parachute. My sensitivity is really low up here, not sure what that's all about. Here we're going to press forward to try and move along the landscape. Here's that ridge that I saw just before I put my waypoint down. Let's go and open up the map and get a good view. There it is, coming right up ahead. We're going to go and open up the parachute now. There we go, that way I can get some good vertical distance. Kind of want to look around over here. Wow, the sensitivity is really low. You can hear me like continually picking up and replacing my mouse down. Uh, you know what, this little cluster of buildings We'll probably do just fine. Nope, there's someone else going there too. There's somebody going everywhere. So you know what? This little cluster of buildings is going to have to do. I see one other duder down there. Let's see what we can do. Uh, the movement sensitivity when we were in the lobby seemed pretty good. Um, by the way, of course, this is my first time playing this game, if I haven't said that yet, and I don't think I have. Okay, so we're coming down here, and I'm not landing right where I, uh, in a good spot where I want to land. I think we can hold S to stall here. I'm hoping that's the case. Yeah, we're going to stall the chute. Come down and hopefully make a safe landing. There we go. Alright. I can punch with left click. That's good stuff. There's a dude over there. He can hear maybe slash see me. He probably doesn't know that I'm coming. I should probably pick up a weapon first before I engage this guy because he's probably already got a gun. But he doesn't know that I'm here, so... Pop! <laughs> pop! Pop! None of us has a weapon! Wow, the melee in this game is janky as anything. <laughs> he doesn't have a weapon yet. Oh, he punched me. I'm not sure if I even got a hit off on him. This is awful. <laughs> this is not representative of the game, by the way. I want you to know. Oh, crap. My controller is going off. Where you running? Where you running, sucker? Where you running, sucker? Where you running? He, picked, he tried to pick up a weapon, but I'm punching him. I'm punching him while he's doing it. I'm punching him while he's doing it. I got him. I got him. I got that sucker. All right, so we got that. Wow, my controller kind of went off when I did that. I'm actually gonna put it on the uh, on the on the carpet here so it doesn't do that again. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and see if I can loot this guy's stuff. Holographic sight. How do I pick it up? Right click. Yes. A backpack. Apparently, I have that on now. Uh, we want the helmet, which I damaged already by punching him in the face a whole bunch. Utility belt. Oh, look, a motorcycle helmet on the ground. And a U UMP9. I want to equip that, right? If I left click on that, right click. There we go. I've got that. Now I need ammo. None of this looks like ammo. I've got 9mm ammo, but I don't know what kind of ammo this takes. 
Takes 9mm ammo. Okay, I've got 30 of those rounds. Let's go ahead and reload this. Like I said, it's my first time playing. I'm a little slow at this, but that's fine. Switch to backpack level 1. I've got a level 1 backpack, or I've got a backpack right now. Oh, look, more 9mm ammo. Cool. Looks like I'm already set. Let's see if I can aim with this thing. I can. How do I go down scope, though? Oh, I might not have a scope. Okay. That's fine. But aiming down sights does still tighten up the reticle a little bit there. Alright, let's see where we're going. Okay, I want to loot all up in here. So I beat that dude down with my fists. It's pretty awesome. Here's a pistol. Let's go ahead and just pick up all this stuff. Okay, and now that I've done that, I think I can go I for inventory. Okay, it's pretty intuitive. I like that stuff. This is my inventory right here. What about my backpack? Do I open that up? Right click on that. Nope. Did I just drop it? Yes, I did. Where's the gun I just picked up? Oh, it auto-equipped. Okay. And it's three to bring that up. Okay, cool. Let's load up some 9mm rounds in that. And then one to bring this up. Okay. Cool. Alright, looks like we're off to a, a start. Now let's take a look at the map. I am right here. This is the play area. Those red areas are being bombed. Yeah, there's there's random airstrikes. <laughs> so, that's cool. Uh, okay, we're going to pick this up too. Okay, I've got apparently another UMP4, or UMP9, which needs to have ammo. Let's go ahead and load that up. Remember, it's faster to switch to a weapon than it is to reload, so we're going to have one on number one, and then one on number two, and then our pistol. All right, cool, good stuff. And what do we have there? A sickle? <laughs> I don't want a melee weapon, uh, but I don't know how cool that is. Pick up choke. Equip sickle. Wait, do I want to equip the sickle? Let's try and equip it in slot three. Switch to long sleeve t-shirt. No, thank you. Oh, the sickle's on four. All right, so I bring up four. Whoosh! That's pretty neat. All right, what is that thing? What did I miss out on there? A tactical shock? Okay, let me open this up and see if I can get that to work. How do I attach this to something? Right click. Oh, I just gotta drag it somewhere. Can I not use this? A tactical stock. Did I say shock? I'm at stock. Attachable weapon M416. Okay, I don't have that. All right, so there's apparently a bunch of stuff on the ground that I'm like not even seeing. Switch to a long sleeve T-shirt. It's gonna take me a while to get used to that. Also, I need to change my settings a little bit here, and go back here and readjust the mouse sensitivity, which would probably should be at like 92. Okay, and also I'm having a lot of problems with uh with frame rate. Screen scale. Having ultra on everything is cool, but it certainly isn't helping in my ability to fight. But you know what? We're going to leave it alone for the sake of the recording. Let's go and open up the door here. There's probably other stuff in here. 5.56 five, ammo. Quick draw mag for a pistol. Nice. Switch to Scar L. Is that a better weapon? I don't know. Is that a better weapon? Switch to that. I can reload this. It's got 5.56 ammo, so I'm assuming it deals more damage. Okay, let's see. Oh, inventory. Uh, I think I just froze. Oh, there it is. There's the scar. Let's see. Power, effective range, stability, and firing rate. Yeah, it's a much better weapon overall, so we're going to make that our primary, which we have up right now. Okay, good. We have the scar up. Uh, oh, look at that. It's got a nice pulled-in reticle. But I don't like how difficult it is to aim that thing. Control, targeting sensitivity, let's jack that up to also 92. Vehicle driver sensitivity, I have a feeling that's going to need to be 92 as well. Or close to it. 91 is fine. Scoping, that's what we were doing right there. For sure, 88, we'll get it close. Scope 4x, 89, just going to get them all around this area. This one probably needs to be a little bit higher, there we go. A little higher, okay. Just gonna leave that like that. Apply and OK. If I scope, oh, that's that feels so much better, man. Okay, good. Switch to crowbar. No thanks. Uh, it's taking me a long time to loot this house, but I am brand new at this. Okay, now where do I want to go? We can head. We can hit up the road and head that way. We want. I think we want to try and stay closer to the middle of the circle, of course. All right. We want better gear too. I don't know if there's like types of body armor and stuff like that that you can do. All right, let's get out of this house. Let's resituate myself. Let's be careful. I think this is—I think just me and that other guy landed here. Look at that sickle on my back. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, I think he looted up some of this stuff. 
is a pretty good spot to be. Now, we can't just chill out here all day long, because like I said, the play area shrinks. This is where I killed him. Well, this is where I, uh, this is where I launched my assault on that dude. My assault of fists. My fists of fury. This is where I busted out the kung fu, man. I just parachuted down to this land, found the first dude that I saw, and just punched him to death. <laughs> I'm someone you don't want to mess with right here. Alright, so do I have... Oh, I'm definitely going to need something to heal myself with. Maybe we should check this house real quick. Just make sure there's nothing in here that I can use. What is this? Oh, a red dot site for a, a something. And a micro Uzi stock. Just in case I find one of those, I'll do that. Pick up a gas can. What's that even for? In this game. Pick up another one? Dude, we got tons of them. Extended quick draw mag. What is this? Open door. Okay. Now eventually it'll get to the point, if I play this enough, it'll get to the point where I'll be able to just know what can be picked up just at a glance, but right now I kind of have to inspect everything. Okay. Let's see what that stuff is. We've got the quick draw mag for the pistol, but we have an extended quick draw mag for the pistol. 13 capacity, 9 capacity. Alright, extended quick draw mag, boom. There we go. Make my, make my pistol better. I've also got a holographic sight, which can be attached to this weapon. Uh, a red dot sight, which will go on that one. Wait, do I want the red dot or the holographic? Let's try them both out. This is the... Uh... Wait, how do I scope in? If that doesn't work like that. Alt? No? Let's find out. Settings. Control. Are keys? Keys, keys, keys. Okay. That's right here. Ready for combat. Targeting. Right mouse button. How do I use my scope? Let's scroll with this. Weapons. Toggle firing mode B. Oh, that's for auto, semi-auto for weapons that can do that. While driving, move forward. Team spectator mode. Targeting should be right mouse button. Let's try the other gun. Maybe it's got a different scope, but I do the red dot. Okay, I've got different kinds of optic attachments for these weapons, but I'm not able to actually use it. Let's try B for switch firing mode. Okay, this is full auto. We're going to go single with this. Actually, I want to go full auto with this one. I don't want to test out the, the firing mode, though, but I do want to be able to use the scope, and I'm not sure how that actually works. I've seen it happen. I know that, I know that it happens. To vehicle, interact, toggle map, toggle inventory, toggle camera, V. Push to talk, free look, use med kit. Use boost item, toggle UI, targeting. Toggle prone, that's kind of useful. Well, I'll have to figure it out later, I guess. We're going to go V. Okay, even if... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 I get it, 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 I get it. I get it. Alright, let's go back to third person, because you get a wider field of view that way. I think I was, like, zoomed out even further before with third person. There we go. Um, Alright, so if you if you press right-click, it does this. If you hold right-click, it does this. Interesting. I would rather, I would rather, uh, I'd rather that be different. I'd rather that be swapped. I'd rather hold right-click to look down my scope. And tap right click to go to that other awkward one than this. What is this about? Alright, we're gonna hit up this road. It's Z to go prone, right? Okay. Hit up this road, get in here, see what I can find. Actually, let's go over there. That's where I was headed before. Let's run east. Now we're running out in the open. Not a good thing. The objective is to survive, just be the last one alive. We can see in the top right there are 45 people alive right now. And there's a plane coming in which might be doing a supply drop. That is a supply drop. That's going to attract some, some players to it. Those probably have really good things. Well, this is my first time playing the game. And I'm going to get more familiar with it as I keep playing. But since it is my first time, and there's really nothing at stake, because this, this is a learning experience. Even if I get taken down early, I have an excuse, right? It's like, hey, I'm new. 
So there's nothing at stake. We might as well go straight for that. Oh, they got somebody over there in a vehicle driving straight toward it. I might be able to pick them off from range. I'm not sure what the range is on this gun. I'm not sure if it handles how well it handles. I don't have any practice with these weapons. But that looks fun. So we're going to go ahead up that. I have the advantage of being able to look down on that from afar. As opposed to those who rush straight for it. Ah, we can already hear some gunfire. There's somebody driving by. I could have tried to eliminate him, but I don't think he even saw me. And I'm not willing to let the crack of my gun give away my position for this for this drop over here. Okay, the drop is coming up. Let's be very careful. There's somebody in a vehicle over there. Oh, I can't move while doing this. Okay. That makes sense. I want to get inside a bush or something. Toggle crouch so I can move a little bit faster. I'm not sure where it dropped. I see one I see one tango off in this direction. He doesn't notice me. In fact, the fact that those bullets are triggering over there tells me I can sneak up on this guy. I'm not sure if he's watching his angles. I'm not sure if he's watching his angles. He's over there to the left, that's why I saw him moving. Oh great. Where's that guy even going? Dang it, that vehicle might have given me away. I hear him firing. But he's, but he's not firing on me. Is that him, just right there? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was him, or if he was firing from behind the wall. Alright, so I got, I got snuck up on this. I snuck up on this guy over here. What has he got? 4X scope. Right click, red dot, quick draw mag, compensator, smoke grenades, ooh. Oh, I can't pick these up, I don't have any room. I don't have any room, what do I need to do? Um, I don't even have that weapon. Can I drop these? How do I drop stuff? Man, I don't even know. But I don't want to be in this position anymore. I can probably safely loot from right here. Let's try. Alright, so now I've got to figure out how to drop some of this stuff. I want his 5.56 ammo. But... Maybe he's got like a better backpack or something. Utility belt, coat... Ooh, an M16. I want that for sure. Can I swap this? Clink! Okay. And can I put a red dot on it? Clink! Okay. And I should have... I thought I had something that I could use to equip. Now, what kind of ammo does this use? 5.56. Five, okay. Of course, we want that ammo. Let's pick that up. Not enough space. Don't give me that. Alright, let's go ahead and load this weapon up then. Man, I need to learn how to do this a lot faster. Oh, backpack level 3. Swap my backpack. Now I should have plenty of space for this stuff. Pick up the 5.56 uh, five, five, ammo, the 9mm ammo, police vest. Get that on for protection. And I wanted the smoke grenades. We'll take those. Ooh, 762 ammo. Some of this other stuff could probably be really good. Like this. Uh, and the scar, we'll swap, we'll swap out the UMP with the scar. That sounds a lot better. Okay, now to get a move on. Now to keep moving. I don't think he had anything on him that could heal. Alright. So I think I made a pretty good tactical decision there. Um, let's see. Opening up the map, where am I? I'm pretty close. Oh, okay. Proceed to play area marked on the map in 2 minutes, 30 seconds. You see this yellow circle? Uh, this blue circle? If you're outside of that, you'll take damage continuously. Uh, and in 2 and a half minutes, that blue circle is going to squeeze all the way to the size of that white circle, forcing us all to uh, engage one another. Oh, great. There's a bombing run happening right here. So this road right here leads directly into the play area. Which means I've got a little bit of time before that blue circle does squeeze in. 
It looks like the player that I took down uh, actually did loot this up. So, uh, let's keep that in mind. Okay, well, let me get inside the play area. Hanging out at the edge of the play area is generally a good idea, in my opinion. Because then you can't really be snuck up on from behind. So if you're at the edge of the play area, you have fewer angles of your own to watch. But going in the middle means you can take up cover positions and stuff like that, which might be better for squad play. Because then you can assign people to windows and to watch corners and stuff like that. Alright, so we're going to go in here. I'm safely inside the white circle now. We have to remember, that guy that I took down was firing on somebody. Let me get the scope for this. Oh, red dot. Looks interesting. I think I prefer that other scope, though. That looks so much nicer. What kind of scope is that? Oh, let's reload this. What kind of scope is that? That is a... Oh, crap, there's somebody. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> As I was scoping up my inventory. Okay, so that's how that all works. So that's my first game of this. Of course, I need to get better at identifying what is what, because I was trying to figure out what that scope was. I wasn't, under, I wasn't in cover while I was doing that. So I've got to be very careful about that kind of thing. What I really wanted to do was illustrate this game. And oh my goodness, there is like definitely some sort of a... There is a level of tension and excitement when you're playing this that not a lot of games offer. And, okay, I'll put it this way. Some games do offer that, but eventually it does subside and it becomes a little bit rote and routine. And I'm sure that may very well be the case for this game as well. But right now, this game is one of those that gave me that feeling just now, that very heightened tension. All right, and I really liked that. That was extremely cool. And I like things that are tactical. And I like survival-based stuff. I like player versus player um, and I like things that just generally are, are fun. <laughs> this, this was generally pretty fun. It's a new experience for me. I realize it's a, it's a type of a genre of game that is like this, but this is my first time playing something like this. I mean, I've played DayZ before, but I didn't do the Battle Royale type stuff. So anyway, whew. like I said, this game has a lot of elements. Tactical shooters, I like those. So yeah, anyway, that will do it for this particular video. I do intend to put up some more of this stuff. I hope you folks are ready for that because, wow, that was... <laughs> you definitely have to come down from it. <laughs> okay, there's definitely a, a come down from the excitement kind of feel for this. And I want to get this video up as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this video to a close. I hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you folks next time.